Hello guys, welcome back to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about mouse listener interface. In the previous video, we talked about the key listener interface. So today we will see how to use the mouse listener interface that is used in Java to receive mouse events such as click, press, release, enter or exit on a GUI component. So without delay, let's start coding. So I have two classes, the main class, which is you know, my test app, that Java class. Inside I have my main method and I have this line of code that I'm using to create a frame object of type my frame. And I have the second class that I named my frame. It is extending the JFrame class responsible for creating frame objects. And here I have the various attributes of the frame that I'm creating. I'm going to come back to the attributes of the frame later on. So as you know, this video, we're going to talk about the mouse listener. So one thing we need to do is that we need to implement the mouse listener interface on this particular my frame class. So I'm going to say implement, import the mouse listener class. And then here you see the mistake, you hover on it and then come here and pre click on on implemented methods. It's going to add these five methods. Okay, mouse clicked, mouse entered, mouse exited, mouse pressed, mouse released. So the mouse released is going to be invoked whenever a mouse uh, is released on a component. The mouse pressed is going to be invoked whenever a mouse is pressed on a com GUI component and mouse exited. Uh, when we exit a GUI component, mouse entered when we enter um, a component and then mouse clicks. Mouse clicked is going to be invoked whenever we click on a particular GUI component containing our frame or any other container like a panel. So now let's come back to our frame. So this is how our frame is looking like. Uh, our layout, we have set it to null. We have the set visible. So now I'm going to declare the GUI component that we will need in this uh, video. Uh, we'll say that we need a label. So I will say J label, label. We're going to declare that globally because we will use that in the various methods that we have down there. I will import the JLabel class and inside the constructor, that's where I'm going to instantiate my label. So I will say label assignment operator, new JLabel like this. All right. So I can position the label manually. So I'm going to determine bounds or the alignment and the dimension of this particular label myself. So I will say I want to align it at the beginning of the frame and I will say the dimension will be 100, 100 like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I will add this label to the frame. So I will say this, that add label like this. I'm not going to set the text. I would rather set the background color of this label. So I will say label that set background color that, and then I need to import the color. So if I run the label is not going to show up. All right. As you can see, even though we added it, because the background color did not peak. So for the background color to peak, we have to set opaque. Okay. We need to add this method set opaque and say true. So now when we run, you can see that we are having our label showing. And as I, I told you, we didn't set any text for this particular label. So that's why it's only showing the background color. If we set the text, for example, we will simply say label here. You will see that it's going to show up on the screen. You see label is showing, but I don't want to show the label. I will simply leave it blank like this and only the background color would help us determine that this label component is actually showing on the screen. All right. So now how do you add the mouse listener? We want to add a mouse listener to this particular label. It's as simple as what we have already done in this series. So we will simply say label, that's the name of the GUI component, and then add mouse listener. And then we will need to add the class on which the mouse listener interface has been implemented. And that's the class we are finding ourselves in. So we need to write this. All right. So what if we want our program to output a result whenever we click on a label? Okay. Let me run and I will show you what I mean. You see the label here. We want our 
programmed to show or to output a certain result whenever we click on this particular level. So since we have already added the mouse listener, we are going to move down here to the mouse clicked method. And as I said, the mouse click method is invoked when a mouse is clicked and that means pressed and released. So we will say system that out that print line and then here we'll say the mouse was clicked on all right so now let me run and then i will take my mouse on the label when i click now you can see the message so showing in the console the mouse was clicked so that's how you actually can work with a mouse clicked method so you can write a bunch of code here just to determine uh, the event that should happen whenever the mouse is clicked on. We can also maybe uh, work on the other methods. Let's say, for example, the next method is the mouse entered. And uh, we want to say that if the user enters the area of a component, we want to output a certain me uh, message. And then we want the background color of our label to change. So we will say here, system that out that print line, the message that we want to output in the console would be the mouse entered the label area. And then if we want to change the background color, the label, we will simply say label that set background. And then here we can determine the color of the label. We will say yellow, for example. Okay, so now when we run and when I put my mouse in the label area, now you can see the background color has changed. All right, so we can also determine the very same thing for or when the mouse exits the label area. So we were to do that, we will do that in the mouse exited method. So I'll copy these lines of code. I'll paste them down here and I will change the message to output in the console. I'll say the mouse exited the label area and then the color, the background color, I will say that I want it to be green. So let me run. So when we enter the area, it changes to yellow. When we exit the label area, it changes to green, all right? So that's what happens. So for you to be able to look at, to see what is really happening, I'm going to increase the width and the height of the label area. So now you can see when I enter the label area, the background color changes to yellow. When I exit, the background color changes to green. So the next method here was the mouse pressed. So as for the mouse pressed, as I um, told you is that this method is evoked whenever a mouse is pressed on a component. So I will simply paste this here and I will change the output message. I will say the mouse was pressed on. So this is gonna output the message and then the background color will be red, something like that. When I enter, it turns, it turns yellow. When I exit, it turns green. When I enter and when I press, it turns red. When I release, nothing happens because we've not defined that event yet. So now let's work on the mouse released here. I will copy and paste these lines of code and uh, the output message, I will say the mouse was released and then the background color would be cyan, all right? So when I run, I enter, it turns yellow, I exit, it turns green, I press, it turns red, when I release, it turns cyan. So I can come back when I initialized my label, I say that the default color is cyan. I can say now I want it to be blue, just for us to see the difference. Let me run again. So when I enter yellow, exit green, enter, press red, release, cyan. All right. Okay, so we can also apply the mouse listener on a frame. If you can recall, we applied, we added our mouse listener to the label component. But what if we added it on the frame instead? This is how we would do that. So we will need to add the mouse listener to the frame and then we will define the various methods. So let me comment this line of code. And then here we will say this, that, add mouse listener 
then here I will say this. So now we have applied or we have added the mouse listener to the frame itself. When I run, instead of pressing and clicking on the label, we're going to do all of that on the frame. So when I press my mouse in the frame, see what happens? You know, the label changes to red. When I release, you know, it changes to another color. When I exit, it changes. The label change, background color changes to green. When I enter, the label color changes to yellow. So all of this is happening because we have added the mouse listener to the frame. And because we've added to the frame, so the clicking, the releasing, and entering, the exiting uh, on the frame would affect the label component that it contains because here we are overwriting, you know, the properties or the attributes of the label. So we could also pretty much play around with the frame background color. So let's say that we also want to work on the background color of our frame. Let's say, for example, if the mouse enters the frame, we want its background color to change. If it exits, if we click on it, we also want it to change. At the same time, we want the label to change its background color, but we also want the frame to change its background color. Okay, so what we're going to do for the mouse clicked, we may leave that like this. But as for the mouse entered, we will say this that get content pane, and then we will set background color that blue. Let's copy, I'll paste here, I'll say yellow. Down here, I'll say green. And then for the last one, I will say red. Let me run. When I enter the frame, see what happens. You know, the label background color changes and then the frames background color changes. When I exit, this is what happens. Background colors of both the frame and the label change. When I re-enter, when I press, changes. When I release, they also change. All right, so that's pretty much what I wanted to show you on the mouse listener and also know that we could pretty much use images or icons in the frame and then you know when you click release exit you have different images showing so that was it on the mouse listener event i hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like to share to comment and subscribe to this youtube channel for more videos like this one let's meet in the next one